What's up everybody? Jason Cole here with rcgroups.com. We're at the field. I've got my flight test night radiant out here, but we're not reviewing this airplane. We've already done that. We're looking at the new Archer GR8 receiver from FreeSky. This is a new receiver and it has some cool features in it for cell plane pilots especially, but you can use it for just about anything else you want. It is a nice slender long receiver uh, made to fit in cell plane fuselages. It weighs about 10 grams, so it's nice and light. And it's got eight PPM channels. You got S bus in and out, a couple of some ports there to play with. Decently long antenna, so you could route them through your fuselage and, and out if you need to for a carbon fuselage. Um, but what's really nice about this that we're gonna test today is it's got a pressure sensor built in. So we can get altitude, vertical speed, some great telemetry data from this receiver and it's been updated from the previous model which wasn't access protocol enabled so this one does have access which gives you some over-the-air functions uh, some little bit cooler telemetry features and it's updated to where it responds and processes the data faster so we can get more accurate altitude in real time as well as the, the vertical speed data which translates into a variometer so we've got that enabled on the radio. We're gonna check out the telemetry screens and see how this thing performs up in the air. So we're gonna throw a battery in this right now and see how it works. All right, so we're powered on now and we're on the main screen. And to get to the telemetry screen, you just kind of hold down on the X-Lite Pro here. So we're gonna hold down and then now we're on our telemetry screen. I've got it set up to show me altitude, maximum altitude achieved along with the vertical speed data. Now, just one oddity with this is every time I boot up, it always gives me an incorrect starting altitude. So it should be zero there, but this one says 26.3. I do have it set for Imperial, so that's in feet. So if you just press and hold uh, the button there, you can reset the telemetry. So now it'll read zero and we're good there. I also have enabled a couple of uh, buttons. So when, if I press any of the two momentary push buttons here, it'll give me an altitude uh, audible alert. So minus. 0.7 feet minus 0.6 feet so that's kind of cool as I'm flying I can not need to take my eyes off the airplane to look down at the screen I can push the button and have it audibly tell me what altitude I'm at I also have my vario tone turned on with this switch here so if I turn that on it's on but it won't work because I have it set to be uh, no tone if it's neutral so if it's not climbing or descending uh, it doesn't do the tone, so it doesn't get annoying to you. But if you are climbing or descending, I'll grab the plane. You can hear it. And you can see... Seems like there's just a slight lag, but it definitely seems better than the previous receiver. It's pretty instantaneously, when I go up, you hear the tones rise and pitch. Ready? and down, down tone. So that's pretty fast. All right, let's get this up in the air and then see how it works. All right, so we're up in the air now and we're about 250 feet or so, and I can hit the button to hear that. 245 feet. So that's just really cool. I can look up and see what altitude I'm at. Uh, seems to be about right. That's about how high I can launch a DLG usually, so that's about the right distance. So let's go ahead and turn the Vario on now. Ooh, big climb. So these aren't thermals. This is me kind of just pitching up and stalling the airplane so you can hear the differences in the tones. Trim it down a little bit. So if you've never messed with a cell plane Vario, when you get the lower pitch tones, that means you're descending. And when you get these higher pitch tones, that means you're climbing. And, and the, the pitch actually tells you how fast or slow you're climbing. And you can also see the vertical speed data on the screen. So if I dive down, we'll get real low pitch. And if I climb, really fast climb, really high pitch, fast beeps. So we're pretty early in the morning. There's not a whole lot of thermal activity going on, but if there were thermals, you could be flying along with a flat trajectory and, and the tones aren't gonna really be doing much. And then when you hit a thermal, you'll hear it climb just like that. And then you can turn and circle in it and you should be able to hear those tones continue to tell you when you're thermal and you're climbing and then you can 100 
71 feet. You can get your altitude data, so that's pretty cool. And then if you want to turn it off, you can just put it on a switch and then you can turn it off and you can fly silently and then 198 push, feet. push the button and get your altitude updates when you want. Looks like I am in a thermal right now. So I can tell and confirm that with the Vario. Yeah. It's a pretty decent Vario. Two meters uh, or two feet per second looks like on the vertical speed. Four feet per second on the vertical speed. Does fluctuate if you're not in the core of the thermal, but we're going up pretty good there. You can see the altitude climbing as well. Throttle is off, so you should confirm we actually are thermally and we've climbed quite a bit right now. It's a nice little early morning thermal. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm turn the Vario back off. So guys, that's the GR8 Archer receiver from FreeSky. I'm pretty happy with that performance there. That Vario meter data seems to be reporting really fast. There's not a lot of lag at all uh, between the plane climbing and seeing the change in the data or the Vario tone. So that should be really helpful for sailplane pilots. Um, I like the size of it. It's pretty long and skinny and uh, should fit in a lot of sailplane fuselages, maybe not a hand launch glider, but more like uh, two meter planes and up. This should be a really great receiver if you're on OpenTX and running Free Sky products. This is a, a nice little option for you with the access protocol and the updated pressure sensor. So there you go, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we appreciate those likes. We love doing these videos for you guys and pulling out reviews. I'm still flying but it's a sailplane. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Here comes the airplane. We'll catch you guys on the next video.